evening and welcome to episode four of the Knit the Sundown podcast. A bit of radio silence over the last week. I was in England and found myself much too busy uh, seeing everybody and doing all the things to sit down and uh, do a video podcast. Um, But here I am back with the kitten who missed me and my wool and stash and workplace behind me and it feels like the right time to do another podcast. So I have today a little bit of an overview of my time in England, mostly um, purchases and some finished objects and um, one finished object I don't have with me quite yet. I haven't blocked it and I want to try it on. It's a little big. Anyway, it's not quite ready to show off. So I will start with these socks, basically were my plain knitting socks. Um, I really like this Arno and Carlos colorway and I posted on Instagram about these, um, how much I love the vanilla is the new black pattern. I found it um, really just hypnotic to knit. You don't have to really focus as much on um, gussets or putting stitches aside or working over a certain number of stitches or a certain percentage of stitches. There's no calculations to do. It's just a very simple wedge increase pattern around the heel and then some short row shaping. So I had a lot of fun with these. Um, Really great for travel knitting. They look, they don't look a little shapeless when you hold them up like this because they have less shaping, um, I guess, around the, um, oh, no, don't eat them. But uh, they look great on, they fit really well, they're comfortable. Um, the cat finds them really tasty. There we go, she's giving that a munch. And um, I really like them. So I was very happy with those. Um, I have. Do you want to give it back? Can I give it back now? No? Okay. Keep on munching. Oh, I need to clip your claws. You're being spiky. Okay, it's enough of that. Um, I only picked up, that's a lie, I picked up way more than two hanks in England, but these are the particularly special ones. Um, I was in two two places in England. I was down south in Oxford, um, where I grew up. Um, I landed in Heathrow and went to Oxford um, from there. My dad still lives there in the house I grew up in, and I have my attic bedroom, and I love it. Um, It still feels like home. And I caught up with a bunch of school friends and had a lovely time. And there's a lovely yarn store there called Darnet and Stitch. Darnet and Stitch is an adorable little shop on a street called Blue Boar Street. It's tiny, um, but it has a wonderful selection of local hand dyed yarns. Um, this is Fiber Spates. Now, I think they are from Yorkshire. I forget. Excuse me if I'm wrong about that, but I think that's what the lady in the shop told me. This colorway is called Tweed Imps, which I find a very whimsical name. And it's uh, it's hard to say what the base is because it's uh, sort of one of those very pure, variegated yarns that, oh, there she goes, um, that really isn't overwhelmingly one color or another, um, but it's just got the most gorgeous jewel tones running through it. Um, and I don't, I have a lot of pastels and bright colours and some grey toned things, but I don't have anything really, oh, someone's at the door. Um, so the jewel tones of this are raspberry, teal, um, some beigey golden browns. I just love this. I can't wait to see how it knits up. And I don't really know what to do with it. It's um, 400 or so yards, 399 yards specifically. Um, but I'd love to make something bigger than a kerchief with it. I want to pair it with something, but because it has such a round, clear ply to it, um, I don't. I was wondering what I have in my stash that would go, because I have a lot of single plies, um, and I don't want to put it with one of them. And I was at work on Sunday, obviously the first thing you do when you land in back after a holiday on your day off is to go to work, but I did. I went to West West Chico, um, which doesn't really work. And Amalia there suggested black to go with it. And I have this black tinned and I actually find that very striking. And I think a black lace border or, um, 
with this is the shawl main body of the shawl could be really gorgeous like a striking dark winter shawl so I've been looking through um, a few patterns for um, shawls with cabled or knitted on or lace borders and I found some really beautiful ones if you have any to recommend please leave them in the comments or link to them um, I'd love to see your recommendations um, one that I love um, is French Can Can. I've already made that. My granny actually commissioned me to make another one. Um, so I won't be doing that one. I know that's a very popular knitted on border one that I love and highly recommend to anybody. French Can Can is a brilliant pattern. I'll put a link to it in the comments. Um, so after that tangent finished, um, any recommendations you have for what to do with approximately... What's this one? approximately 630, 640 yards of finger weight, fingering weight yarn in two colors, please let me know. Um, another special, very special skein I picked up is this. This was from the Stunning Knit Studio, um, an independent yarn store in Newcastle housed in an upstairs room of a 13th century priory. I was uh, just blown away by their beautiful selection and setting and um, the lady who was working that day, Katya, was just um, really fun to talk to. Um, we just chatted about comparing what's popular in England compared to what's popular in Canada and what it's like to work in shops in each country and it was just a really fun little afternoon I had there. Morning. I went there in the morning. I had a fun morning. Um, and I picked up a lot of the stuff there they have um, I can also find in Canada um, so when I travel I try to find things that I'm not going to get be able to get back home so I got this hand spun um, or locally spun I believe lace weight um, it's 80% blue face luster 20% silk it is gorgeously soft blue face luster is that quintessential British wool um, I saw so much more of it in the UK shops than I do over here. Um, it's a, it can be a little rougher, um, but the silk in this just softens it right up. It's um, lace weight, so around 800 yards, and it's going to be perfect on my machine, I hope. And I was thinking of holding it together with a skein I have of Shibui Knits. Cloud in um, color is this ash because I think these two held together would just be um, really spectacular. Um, this skein got a little bit messed up by that dumb cat, um, so I might have to reskein it. It's very a delicate yarn, and I'm trying to figure it. This is not the time to be trying to figure this out, um, but I will do that afterwards. I've only cast on one thing. It's very virtuous of me. Another of my English purchases, they just keep on coming, was um, a sweater's weight of, I'm holding it up because it's similar to my dress colour, um, Rowan Kid Classic. Kid Classic. I've wanted to work with this for a very long time and I got six balls of this peat colour. Um, the Details for this are on my Ravelry page. Um, the project I started is um, a drops cardigan. Um, Blackberry, with a Blackberry stitch top panel. It's um, set in sleeves and pattern has short sleeves, but I'm going to lengthen them. I have enough wool to do that. And um, I'm really excited for that. Just a little cropped vintage style, cozy mohair cardigan. So, that's all I have on my needles at the moment. I do need to get started on more Christmas presents. It's tricky with Christmas presents. I can't really show it off because then people may see what their presents are going to be. So that's also an excuse to keep something for myself on the needles because then I have something to show off in a podcast. So that's fun. This will probably this cardigan I think will be just a sort of meditative uh low concentration knit for a while. There's lots of stockinette in it, so I uh, don't have to think too hard about that one. 